Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to a database using PHP and then MySQL. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to write this very simple code to connect to a database. And then before you even connect to a database, you need to have a database running. And I've already created a database using PHP MyAdmin. So this is a database called test. If you want to create a new database, you can easily click on the new icon here and then create a new database. Now what is going to happen is that once this connection is successful, it's going to echo this message or it's going to print out this on our screen that's successful. So that's what we're going to do in this video tutorial. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's jump into action and see how to do this. Now this is my favorite code editor, favorite code editor. And remember PHP is a server-side scripting language. So before you run php you need to have a server running and in this case i'm using the zamp server you can also use the wamp any of them should work for you so i'm using my sql and then apache server they are both running because i want to use the database now this is what is going to happen you need to go to your drive c once you do the installation you should be seeing the zamp server here open and then put everything within your ht docs folder so i have my db connect over here and that is the file i'm going to work with so I have that file already open within my text editor. Now I'm going to create a new file and then we'll look at how we can create our connection. So I'll go ahead and click on the new text icon and then go ahead and create a new file called db.php. So that's going to be our file extension. Now let's write our code. Now we need to create some variables first and then in PHP to create a variable use the dollar sign. Okay, before we create a PHP, we have to create a syntax. So it's going to be first, the less down question mark then php now we come down here and then also close this any anything that we we'll type within this opening and closing tag is actually going to be a php file so let's first create our server mm -hmm. so we call our server name in this case our server is going to be the local host so it's going to be local host and then we also need the db user so we need the user and the user is actually going to be the root so we are going to use the root as our user we also need the password so remember we need a password so i'll just type this here let me just call it pass and then go ahead and then password is actually going to be empty because we don't have any password associated with this database at the moment and then lastly we need a db name the database name so let's say db name and then that is going to be the name of the database you created i have already created mine here and it's called test you can create your own by clicking on the new icon here and, a, and then create a new one so i'm going to use the test that's the name of my database and then this is going to be and this is going to be here so this is going to be test and that is it we are not done yet we are not coming to create our connection and it's very good you use comments in your database or in your coding it's explain the code to other people who want to actually run through your code so let's say connection to database so that is just a line of code showing the comment what is going to follow and the code is not actually not going to it's actually not going to be run okay it's just going to ignore that just giving an explanation to that now we'll go ahead and let's say we want to create let's say my connect or my connection we'll create another variable called my connection and it's going to call and it's going to be equal to my sqli my sqli under underscore connect okay we need this and then within this particular bracket we are now going to call every other information we have over here so first of all we need our server so our server name comma we need our user so the rest of the information we just follow like that so we need a server we need a user we need the password and then we need a database name so that is all we need and then every statement in php you need to what end it with what a semicolon like subscribe for more video and then don't forget to turn a post notification now we have this we need to check if we don't have any error so to do that we are going to use the if statement and let's say if so we're going to bring the exclamation sign here 
so this means if not connect or if not my connection so all we are trying to say is that if the connection is not successful then go ahead and then do something so if the connection is not successful then we can say echo okay we can say echo error connecting okay so that is could be the message or fail to connect now we can come down here and if there's error then it can exit this particular code so the code will stop running and then we can actually go ahead and then say else we can do something else then we can say echo connection established or yeah so we can use in this statement connection established successful so that is all we need at the moment and we need to terminate this code here i think everything is set and this is all we need to make our connection to the database i'm going to do a follow-up video and then we can see how we can insert information into the database so i'll save this go into my browser and then i'll try open my local host now and remember the folder we created we created a folder called db connect and then our database name is actually db connect so that is the database let's just hit this and you can see we are having what connection established that is the message we had over here connection established so we just want to make sure our database is successfully connected so we've been able to connect to our database and then from here we can now enter or send information into our database that we have right here okay so this is how to connect into the database there are other methods subscribe for more techniques we'll be doing a lot of project based video tutorials this year so subscribe so you don't miss any of those video tutorials so this is just a simple code that shows how to connect to the database so like come away again bye bye